solve lead code problem 2011 finding value of variable after performing operations let's try to solve this problem today uh, if you haven't seen my previous video go and see them I really solve problems in a really easy way so hope you like this one so let's start this one okay so we need to find value of variable after performing operations okay so this is a programming language with only four operations and one variable x okay so okay we've got two kind of variable plus plus x x plus plus and if the value is this then we need to increase it by one and if it's minus minus then we have to decrease it by one right okay so initially the value of x will be zero so we can see the input here we've got our operations input which uh, have these four uh, strings in it inside this array right this is the array so minus minus x x plus plus x plus plus so output is one so why the output is one as see this is minus minus x so the input goes like minus one and for x plus plus the input again goes plus one so minus one plus one zero and then again x plus plus so it gets added so output is one you can see it here uh, easy way would be c plus plus x plus plus x x plus plus so these three it will make one two and three so output would be three for this one it would be one and one two and minus two so zero two minus two zero why for every plus plus x or x plus one we increase minus minus x x minus minus we decrease easy right so this is a easy problem I'll try to solve it in an easy way. So what we can do? Um, I'm not gonna write any comments for this one because it's literally easy. We just need to use if and else condition. So if you know if and else condition in programming, it's very important, and you can literally use uh, if else to solve really good problems. Um, so let's start this one. So what we have a variable called count, and we're gonna set it as zero in the beginning. So most of the problems in programming you can solve using for loop because if it's uh, related to arrays so this one is also an array of strings so we'll use for variable for where i equals zero i should be less than op operations dot length i plus plus right so after this we got hold of all the strings so let's say in this case it's plus plus x plus plus x x plus plus from one to 0 to 2 0 1 2 right so now what we need to do so we'll just use all the if conditions i'll try to show a really easy solution like you don't have to think about anything not a complex solution very easiest easiest you will find on internet so if operate operations at i so we're getting off the element uh, the index at 0 of operations at i dot includes so it's a method in javascript includes which help you to find okay if uh, there's anything which matches the condition so if operations at i dot includes um and we'll try to put it inside a string so x plus plus then what we want so uh, we know already right so see if it's e equals to plus plus x or x plus plus we want it to increase by one right so what we're gonna do we're gonna do count equals to count plus one right easy now we still want to be in the for loop right so we put one more condition else if so this time we're gonna do if operation set i dot inclu dot includes what do we want we want plus we want plus plus x okay so yeah so now what we want we again want it to increase right so count equals to count count equals to count plus one so see we're not gonna try to solve it by a complex pro complex way it's an easy problem we'll solve it in the most efficient and easiest way just going through all else if else if condition now what we can again put an else if condition we can put else if now this time if operations at i dot includes if it includes x minus minus then what do we want we want count to be 
count minus one, right? And we got one last condition, which will be else if. So what's the last condition? It's uh, minus minus x. We just need to put that one. So we're gonna do if operations at i dot i n c l dot includes minus minus x. Then what do we want? We want count variable to decrease one from it, right? So see this, that's it. And now what do we want? After all these conditions are being checked using this for loop and the count is always changed. So what do we want? We want to return that count. Okay, so I'll give you like one more round of explanation. So see what happened in the beginning. Let's say for this one, right? We'll, we'll try to take this example into consideration and um, and see, see for this one. So what happened in the beginning, it went through this for loop. So what is the, I'll try to explain anything. So what's the length of this array? One, two, three, four, fourth, right? Okay, so it went okay, array starts from zero. So zero, one, two, three. So it says okay. So if operations add zero, dot includes x plus plus. Does it includes? Yes, it does. So it says okay, increase count by one. So what's count? It's zero, okay. So it says zero plus one, one, okay, count is one. So count went to one here already. Then it says, okay, else if none of the conditions gonna test, cause it's not. Then it goes, okay, zero. it increases by one, cause it's I plus plus. It increases by one and it says, okay, does operations at one includes X plus one? Does it? No. Then it goes and check this one. Does it include plus XX? Yes, it does. So it says, okay, increase count by one again so count was already one before you remember then it's gonna be one plus one two now then it checks i equals to three now zero i equals to two sorry so zero one two minus minus x so it doesn't satisfy this condition not this not this not this it says okay does operation that i dot includes minus minus x it says yes okay so reduce minus one the count so it says okay count equals to count minus one what was count count was two one here one here count was two so it says okay two minus one so one then now count it sends here and count is one then it says okay i equals three now plus right so it says okay zero one two three x minus minus so where is x minus minus it checks and it says okay again decrease count by minus one so one minus one is zero then it says okay now i equals four but you know zero one two three four then it cannot because it's going out of all loop so it will go out and it will return the count what was count count was zero that's all it should uh, work and give us the answer we want see we got a really good runtime and if we try to submit the solution so yeah we got a good runtime and a good memory usage so see really easy problem and a really easy way to solve it you don't have to make it complex and if you want to see more easy solutions like this for lead code and you want to really get on with this lead code journey and learn programming in the easy way then make sure you follow my channel subscribe my channel like and comment and let me know what what other questions you need help with thank you